Hi Aquarius, this is your Just Cause reading for June 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for June 2022. In love, Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for June 2022 in love universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of aquarius for june 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so aquarius Aquarius, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you, Aquarius. This is you. This is your partner. So, Aquarius, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For June 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Aquarius, is the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Aquarius, listen, you can be from each other's past, having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite here. You can tell me that something from the past was brought back up. Someone from your past may be in the picture. Someone from their past may be in the picture, but this may also involve children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aquarius and their partner. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aquarius and their partner. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aquarius and their partner. It is clarified with you, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, the King of Swords. This king is a very intelligent, analytical and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication and this is about making a decision. So Aquarius, this very well could be you, but someone here could be taking on the energy of this King of Swords, coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius and their partner clarify the king of swords for aquarius and their partner clarify the king of swords for aquarius and their partner it is clarified with the eight of cups scorpio cancer or pisces this is walking away from people places and things that no longer serve you this is you detaching emotionally feeling emotionally drained and just walking away from people places and things that no longer serve you so Aquarius, listen, you know, someone may want to walk away, detach emotionally here. Mm -hmm. And it very well could be that, you know, something from the past is being brought back up here or someone from either one of you guys' past may be in the picture. However, when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So someone may want to return here maybe making a decision to return wanting to reunite or wanting to return and come forth with truthful communication wanting to reunite here or about something that happened in the past or maybe involving children aquarius you have the seven of wands you have the two of wands you have the magician yourself front and center sir sir your partner has the six of wands your partner has the ace of cups and your partner has uh, 
the Ten of Cups. So, Aquarius, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is someone may be making a decision and maybe even coming forth with truthful communication and deciding to walk away because something from the past was brought back up here. Could also be that someone from your past or their past may be in the picture. However, somebody, someone may want to make a decision to return, maybe even wanting to come forth with truthful communication and reunite here or some truthful communication concerning children or something that happened in the past. Aquarius, you have the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Aquarius, listen, you could be staying off of shunning and setting boundaries, yes. However, you could be being accused here and you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation or excuse. Clarify the seven of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the seven of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the seven of wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something. Someone being deceptive. Someone strategically devising a plan of action. Someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Aquarius, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Now you can tell me that you can't, your standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with this person because there was some type of deception on their part. You can tell me that you're being accused of some type of deception and you're trying to explain, give your explanation or excuse here. Could also be kind of standoffish and just wanting to leave and sneak off here, Aquarius. Aquarius, you have the two of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? I don't know. So Aquarius, listen, you're at a crossroads. You're needing to pick a path, needing to decide here. Clarify the two of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the two of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the two of wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this conversation, okay? Yes. And you're trying to figure out what to do from here. You can tell me that some type of truth and clarity has come out here, okay? And you're needing to make a decision. You could tell me that you're needing to make a decision, of course. Mm -hmm. Or you're wanting to use this sword to sever, okay? And trying to figure out where to go from here. Aquarius, you have the magician. This is you, Aquarius. But you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the air element, the fire element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the magician for Aquarius. Clarify the magician for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the magician for Aquarius. It is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Aquarius, listen, you know, you may have commitment on the brain here. Stability, foundation, yes. Maybe wanting to level up here. Maybe you're telling me something about property here. Maybe you want your own place. I don't know. You're going to have to tell me. Aquarius, listen, you know, yes, someone could be walking away based on something that may have happened in the past that was brought back up, some type of deception, yes. But it could also be that someone is wanting to return here and wanting to reunite and maybe even level up. 
Aquarius, your partner has a six of wands, Aries, Leo, or a Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your partner's attention or they're beginning to recognize something or they're getting attention and recognition. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. Very well could be that something is being brought to your partner's attention or they're beginning to recognize something. But it could also be when we're dealing with the Six of Wands, this can be an announcement being made here. Clarify the Six of Wands for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Six of Wands for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Six of Wands for Aquarius' partner. Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to your partner being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Aquarius, listen, your partner can tell me that, you know, maybe they're getting their, your attention or you're getting their attention, maybe wanting to work things out here. Your partner could tell me that, they're getting your attention, you're getting their attention, or someone is making an announcement here concerning some type of agreement. And this can be a marital agreement here or a contract here. However, your partner could tell me that something was brought to someone's attention. Someone began to recognize something here concerning some type of deception of there being a third party. Aquarius, your partner has the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning and a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Aquarius, your partner has new love, new start to love, or a blessing. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from their past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from their past is back. Now, they can be reminiscing on someone from their past, remembering someone from their past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Aquarius, listen, you very well could be this person from their past and they're wanting to start new here. Maybe there was some type of deception and you're wanting to come in to explain, give an explanation or excuse. Or they want this new love and reuniting here and you're kind of standoffish and shunning because there was some type of deception in the past. Aquarius, your partner could tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. There's new love here. Your partner could tell me that they recognize it was a third party and someone from your past is in the picture and there's new love here. Someone may have new love. Doesn't have to be. You guys could be starting over. However, your partner could tell me that in tarot, this brand new blessing is a baby and children may be involved here. Something being recognized concerning a third party. Aquarius, your partner has a Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Aquarius, listen, you know, someone may have commitment on the brain here. Some type of family dynamics could be going on here. You know, and tarot tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' it's already established commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Aquarius' partner. Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Aquarius, listen, there could be a rush to do something here. 
Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham, passionate with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the Six of Wands twice. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your partner's attention or they're beginning to recognize something or they're getting attention and recognition. So listen, Aquarius, you know, your partner could tell me that one of you guys are trying to get the other's attention. Yes, very well could be making some type of announcement about commitment here, maybe wanting to rush into commitment here. OK, because this is something that you want and maybe it's something that they want and maybe there is a rush, but there is something that has to be discussed here. Ay, 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 ay. However, Aquarius, your partner could tell me that something was brought to someone's attention. They began to recognize something. Someone was out being a player, getting cookies somewhere, causing you guys' this commitment, marriage, living together, situation, family dynamics to come to an end. And listen, is it that we're recognizing that when someone was out being a player, getting cookies somewhere, it produced children being involved here? So Aquarius, listen, you know, Yes, someone may want to return, wanting to reunite here, but also a decision may need to be made concerning going into a commitment. But it could also be that someone is walking away because of something that happened in the past. And what happened in this past could involve children. Aquarius, this is your Just Cause reading for June 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.